Good morning everyone. Today I am going to show you how we're going to make a tofu miso zuke cheese. It is basically a fermented tofu block, fermented tofu, and it's going to turn into a delicious cream cheese. They say that this is almost like a vegan foie gras. It's that good. It's supposed to be as creamy and as delicious as la vache qui rit. I'm not sure if you've ever had it. I know we get it here in Montreal. It's basically a wheel of cheese and it has all these little triangles of cheese. Now they call it the laughing cow, but I'm sure that cow wasn't laughing when they were trying to suck the milk out of it. But we're going to put that aside and I'm just trying to explain to you how delicious this cheese is going to be. I've never had it. I've heard about people brag about it, so I am going to show you how I'm going to make my version. So I started off with a firm tofu that I am releasing water from, and I'm using a tofu press for that. But the firmer the tofu, the better it is. Mine was just firm. I was excited to try it. I was excited to show you how I'm going to do it. So this is the one I am using. So this is releasing its water by using a by using a press but if you get a super firm tofu you could just kind of squeeze it by hand with some paper towels or just leave it till the, the water um, gets soaked into the towels and eventually most of the water is released but because mine was a little softer I am using a press yes the water is coming out of it so that's Part one is making sure that you get the water out of your tofu and make sure you get the extra firm tofu. Okay, now there is a product that I was reading up that they use and they call yuzu. Yuzu, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, it is a condiment uh, that they use in Japan and basically it is from the yuzu, uh, the yuzu fruit, which is a citrus fruit. And they use chili and they use salt. So what I did to replace this is I took the, uh, the zest of a grapefruit and I just added some salt and some chili to it. And I'm going to be mixing this with my miso. And you do need a very light miso. So I am going to be using uh, what they call a white miso or a yellow miso. So this is ready and waiting for me. And... When I come back, I'm going to show you what else I need. I'm going to need, um, basically, I'm going to need some cheesecloth. I'm going to need my miso. I'm going to need some sake. If you don't have it, go to your liquor commission and buy yourself a small bottle of sake. You do need some sake. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back. And I'm going to show you. There's also some people who wrap it with seaweed. And some people use a robust... Uh, type of tea leaf on top of it and that's gonna also intense the flavors of this cheese it's supposed to age up to two months so i'm excited waiting for it is probably gonna kill me all the waiting because i am excited to try it it's supposed to be that delicious so i'm gonna give it a try and i'm gonna show you how i make mine so i'll see you in a little bit guys <sighs> Okay, we're back. Here we go. We're going to need, it has to be a light miso. We're going to need about a cup of miso. There we go. I'm just going to get some of that out. You're going to need some cheesecloth, of course. Now, this is not my recipe. This is me searching about this yumminess that I am dying to try. And it's just me trying it out and doing a few things that are a little different. But we're going to see how that's going to turn out. So we're going to start off with, here we go, about a cup of miso. Hopefully that's about a cup. There we go. Let me just push that down to make sure that I don't have more than I need. Yeah, that's about a cup. Jeez, talk about, talk about eyeballing, right? Okay, I'm just going to squeeze this a little bit out. And I'm using a white miso. And it's a soybean. To this, we're going to add 
Remember I told you there was an item, a condiment that they use when they make this? I decided, well, I'm going to do a little something that's similar to it. So what I did was I grated the, uh, the skins of a grapefruit and I put some chili and I put some salt. So we're going to add some of that to this. Not some, I'm okay. adding it all. There we go. To this, we're going to add two tablespoons of sake. Now, I have homemade sake. One, two, and I'm going to dry this up, and I'm going to use two tablespoon of sugar that's one and that's two and I'm gonna give this a mix so it's very easy to make the thing is that you have to wait you have to wait for it to ferment and this takes two months to get it super super creamy and what happens is the miso is what's going to actually ferment the tofu and the tofu is going to pick up some of the miso flavors that's why we added the orange uh, sorry the grapefruit skin i'm excited to have let me see how this is wow if that is going to taste anything like this I'm in heaven. Wow. And what a punch, pungent taste. Like it's after you haven't eaten for so long and you taste something like miso and your taste buds are like dancing. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to give this a last. I'm just going to give it one more last pour out. And it's been in here for quite a bit of time. Here is my beautiful tofu. A little thinner than what it started off with, but that's okay. So now we're supposed to wrap it in cheesecloth. Here. So we're gonna wrap it in cheesecloth. And I bought another tofu today, so I'm going to have two of them going, but I'm not going to make it today. I'll probably make it tomorrow. Not, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. I'm not doing a thing tomorrow. So here we go. I'm just going to open it up and wrap it a little nicer. I'm trying to see how I can do this. Actually, I should cut this in half. Let me cut this in half. Here we go. So I'm going to put this aside. Oh. Takes that off. Okay. So we're going to wrap it this way and then this way. I'm all over the place today. I guess I didn't calculate it the way I should have, eh? That's there, there, and there. And that's going to go upside down. And we're going to wrap this one too. Am I going to make it? Maybe not. Sometimes you got to just do what you got to do. Okay, so we're going to just use a new one. There we go. This goes over. Over again. Flip, flip, flip. And that's it. And now I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so we mummified our tofu. Perfect. Okay, here we go. This way, this way, and then this way. Okay, so now we're supposed to encase it with our, where is it? With our miso. So we're going to layer all along. We're going to add miso all along the sides. I'm going to put some underneath, some on top, and then this is going to go into a container that you can seal 
and you have to forget it for about two months. You do have to change, though, the paper that's going to go underneath. This little red fleck of something is everywhere. So I am going to start and we're going to do the side and you want to cover it all. You don't want to leave anything gappy because that's only going to uh, cause a mold. But apparently it's okay to have that mold. So we're going to do it this way, off to the side, now you can also wrap it with, sea, uh, with some uh, nori sheets and that's supposed to change up the flavors, there we go, that is my first one. Push this over. Yeah, make sure you've got it everywhere. It really isn't hard to do. Basically, the hardest part is waiting. I'm just going to seal the bottom with some miso. Just so it doesn't open up on me. There we go. Put some there. And now I'm going to do the sides. Now this is not stinky tofu, but that's another thing I want to make. So make sure you cover it really well. And I'm going to save this mixture. So if when I'm flipping, sorry, when I'm removing the paper underneath, I'm going to check to see if I have to pass some more of this stuff on top. So you just want to coat it really well. Maybe I should leave it plain. What do you say? Should I just leave it plain? Maybe I should leave it plain. I think I'm going to leave it plain. Okay, so obviously I'm going to need two of these containers. And I'm going to put paper towels underneath. There we go. There we go. And we're supposed to be changing this paper every couple of days as it gets wet. So I'm just going to pick that up, lay it on top. There we go. Make sure it's nice and covered with this beautiful miso. This miso is scrumptious, by the way. I could see this as a marinade. I could see it as a marinade. So I could just imagine how good this cheese is going to be. And there we go. That's how simple it is to make this. Now it's a matter of waiting. Waiting for this goodness to happen. There we go. How simple is that? Basically, you want to cover your tofu and you want to set this aside. Check it every day and see if you have to change the paper. And, um, and that's it. Retouch the uh, retouch the miso if you find that you've got spots because apparently you might see some mold growing but it's not going to be a bad mold um, if you have any of the cheese or the tofu exposed so you don't want the tofu exposed and if you do see it just scrape it off they say put miso back on it and you're done where is my I just want to put some right there so now it's just a matter of waiting. So the next video you're going to see like this, guys, it's going to be when we're going to actually crack one open to see how it comes out. But for now, this is it. 
what you can do apparently you could use um, you can use a nice um, uh, robust tea that you can oh here we go did I just do that yeah because you know why would my life be easy here we go okay you can use a nice robust tea that you can uh, sprinkle on top and that's gonna also add some flavors Erica do we have any robust tea we're done So now it's just a matter of waiting guys so there you go hope you like this video and do some research maybe you want to try this yourself it's supposed to be um, the vegan foie gras or the foie gras for vegans it's supposed to be so delicious that you can't resist but eat it and it's supposed to be as creamy as lavash kitty cheese so this is going to taste just like cream cheese, guys. It's going to be nice and creamy. There's going to be no graininess whatsoever. It is going to be super, super delicious. You can spread it on anything. So there you go, guys. I hope you liked this video. And um, it's going to be ready for my birthday. And I am going to enjoy it. That is for sure. So thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.